Hello guys, uh, welcome to my channel. So in this video, we are going to talk about the frontal armor of this uh, Sherman tank. This is the latest Sherman variant that was produced during the war. So as you can see, this uh, the whole of this tank is made of uh, a welded uh, steel plate. And uh, let's focus our attention on the armor, the frontal armor of this tank. Yes, accordingly, if you take a look on the internet it says that the thickness of this armor is uh, frontal armor is about 2.5 inch and uh, let's try to do some measurement and see what we can get so let's try it here at 2.5 inch that's uh, that's There you go, that's the 2.5 inch. Let's try to confirm over here. So, but the thing is, uh, the 2.5 inch uh, almost at the center of the welding reeds over here. So, uh, and the thickness of the welding reeds is about one point on the arbor reeds. It's about 1.3. So about 1.4 so it's 1.3 so it's buried so maybe let's try to take uh, the average welding rates as a 1.3 inch but if we are going to measure over here there's some kind of uniform line over that is uh, going straight in parallel that's about two inch i think what they did is that uh, with the 2.5 inch thick steel plate they started to create a wedge at a two inch uh, mark and then when they try to join this steel plate to this main hole the weeds was uh, filled up with uh, welding material that created this uh, welding reeds that's what uh, that's my take on this uh, on the story of, of this uh, how this uh, steel plate frontal armor is uh, welded to this uh, to the main hole of the tank so okay so what happened is uh, this is my take on this so imagine that uh, we are looking at the top view of this uh, of the armor of this tank let's see this is uh, the frontal armor the, the 2.5 inch top frontal armor and this is the side armor which is about 1.5 inch now I'm thinking that uh, the way they connected this uh, toe armor is that they place a gap enough for them to fill this the gap with uh, welding uh, material. So something like this. So that's it. So imagine these uh, are the welding uh, reeds that you can see from the outside of course this is the inner uh, inner part this is the outside part that you can see this is for option one now we have here option two so in here you will notice here that uh, probably the instead of just uh, welding both uh, armor in a straightforward uh, manner. Now in option two, they connected the, the frontal armor with the side armor, 
by creating a wedge at the two inch uh, mark of the frontal armor as well as they also created the weights on the side armor and then they filled in the gap with this uh, with welding uh, material so looking at uh, both options I think this is uh, the most uh, probable uh, way the, they did to connect the frontal armor to the main hole of the Sherman tank. What do you think guys? Anyone who has uh, experienced welding uh, thick uh, armor of uh, more than 2 inch, please uh, leave a comment below and uh, let's talk about this. Thank you guys for watching and if you enjoy this kind of video, please don't uh, forget to Subscribe and uh, like so that uh, you will be updated on my next video uploads